In November of 2023, I went to a country that lies at the heart of the ancient Silk Road, Uzbekistan. I was invited to a wedding in the capital of Tashkent, a city that has 3,000 years of history but that was virtually completely destroyed in an earthquake in 1966 and consequently rebuilt as a model Soviet city. During my stay, I got to see many interesting things. Historical neighborhoods that seem to belong in Aladdin, some of the best Soviet architecture on the planet, bazaars that have been around since the ancient Silk Road, the best food of Central Asia, friendly locals, and a country that is rebuilding itself in a very big way after decades of isolation. New day. So the plan is the following. I'm gonna go to the market now and buy the rice and the raisins and then I'll come back to this area. I'll have lunch at the Samarkand plof place. And then I'll go to the south of the city. And I have to be mindful of how much I spend because banks are closed today and I have just about enough to make it, you know, through the next two days and have enough for the cab Monday morning. So that's it. Let's get out of here. And there's some birthday party here. Happy birthday. It's a Tesla shop. Does Elon Musk know about this? Balik Merkazi. Sazan, Piostra, and Catfish. Yeah. Asadberg Balik. Okay, there we have a. Leopard eating the fish. That's that's pretty easy to keep fish like that. Look, fish scales everywhere. Oof, it smells like fish here. Metalolom. Cement. Yeah, very working class area. You see that mosque across the road? I think uh, Alisha Rusmanov built that. I walked there last time. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the one. He used to live in that area. He comes from there or something like that. It's not a fancy mosque at all. It's quite small. But he, I guess he's also building that big center, so... He is spending money on this stuff. Yeah, this time I'm gonna go under this bridge. I hope that it can, it will lead me to the place. I remember seeing train tracks or something. Isn't there train tracks? And I have to check on the map. One thing I wanted to note before I forget, you hardly see any dogs. I just saw a dog now, that's why I remembered. And people don't really smoke very much. Hardly see anybody smoking cigarettes. 
It's not very common. I was right. They're all railway tracks. There's the train. There's the TV station. <laughs> you can see the Burj Khalifa of Tashkent. So I'm back on the bridge. Back at the bazaar, but I want to enter from a different entrance. Police everywhere. Don't want to be too obvious. But camera. Where was the rice? I think the rice was that way. Devzira is? Devzira is? Super Devzira. Super Devzira. It's this? It's this. It's this. It's this. Кочунгара тоже из белых, вот видите? Это откуда это Девзира? Это узгенский сорт. Узген? Да, вот. Длинный, длинный будет, видите? Да. Настоящий черный хоракалтру. Я, я знаю, я был в Узгене. Ага, это узгенский сорт. Я был там, я там А сейчас мелкий будет, да, узгенский длинный. Узгенский длинный. самый лучший. Да. Я из Андрижана живу, в Кургантепах. А? Я из Андрижана. А, вы из Андрижана? Да, в Кургантепах живу. А по-узбекски как? говорят узген 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 или озген узген узген а вы не знаете вот семечки от э, этот, морковки чтобы вы, выращивать морковку дома есть продают тут семечки 
Морковку? Да, чтобы выращивать. Нет? Нет, я просто там был. Я там был. Да. А, это, это камера. Супер Девзира. I didn't film it, but I got the good stuff. Fifty for the Davzira, ten for the Sabzi, aka carrots, and forty. I paid a little bit more for the Kishmish, but it looks really good. All right, it's eleven. Take a cab home. So yeah, I'm waiting for the cab here. I got the carrots because I'm gonna cut the carrot top off, put it in water, and then it's gonna sprout. And once it sprouts, eventually it's gonna give seeds. And then I can plant it and I can have yellow carrots. That's the plan. Plus I have the seeds from the melon and the pomegranates. Hopefully I can start growing Uzbek fruits and vegetables if it all works well the carrots would be the most important because and maybe the melon as well so you, you, you just can't get that you know? pomegranates you can find but not the the yellow carrots that kind of melon is Ever seen it so there's everything dropped off everything got my water and we'll get the plove now there's some kind of weird sound like a big party it's a wedding. Okay, there is a wedding there. That's where the sound was coming from, but I don't I don't see the band. Where's the band? Birthday there, wedding there. I saw a wedding here last year as well. See these guys playing backgammon. They play a different version.
Здравствуйте. Можно посмотрю? Пожалуйста, пожалуйста. They don't hit each other. This is the Central Asian version. My cousin was also playing like this and my aunt. Anyway, I don't know this version. I play, I don't know what it's called, but I play what I play. This is the street that the restaurant is on. It's up ahead to the right. I remember these new buildings. I think they were being constructed last year. Seems that they're done now. And this place is saying that they have someone called Zir Osh. Maybe they moved? Is this the same place? They were up there before. It's empty. Nobody here. It's, it's 15 past noon, so it's lunchtime. Одна порция 0,7. Ага. 0,7? Да, и все. Да, лукс. Абсолютно. Это был Самарканд. Стайл. Это definitely the best plug so far. It's huge. This is 0,7. of different oils, linseed, cottonseed, and some others. Typical of Samarkand. I 
I was really good. And, and a little bit too much. Am I filming? Yeah. I got a 07. It's 37 plus plus <coughs> now I'm like a local they saw that and they're like oh, okay okay he's not a tourist uh, <coughs> yeah 07 for 37 plus I guess 10% for the staff we have a 40 grand and dude I could have had half of that would have been more than enough because that was just a lot and uh, the thing about Samarkand style plov <clears throat> for those that don't know it's cooked in layers it's never mixed and they use the zigir oil and in this case, they had raisins. Sometimes they don't, sometimes they do, but the yellow carrot is sweet enough. <clears throat> and the rice was alanga. I could tell that it was a little bit not as thin. But yeah, it was alanga. Which is a decent rice, nothing special. But I think that's it for the plov. I ate plov. One. Two. Well, two times in a restaurant. <clears throat> and, you know, at the wedding, they were giving out a bit of plov here and there. That's enough for me, man. Hopefully now I have all the ingredients to at least, you know, get close to this taste if i can grow the yellow carrots that will be a game changer for sure all right so now let's go to the south to chilanzar which is the most working class poorest area of the city but there are two restaurants there one that i've been to and i ate there very good and another one which sells karshi style samsa which is not layered and it has some, um, <clears throat> what do you call it, uh, parsley in it, or maybe it's coriander, I don't know, one of those two. I've never had that kind of samsa, so we'll see if it's available, maybe I'll take some home. And I think I'm going to go there by metro, because I don't know if I can change it. money, money anymore. So I have to kind of be mindful of my expenses. Alkan Group. Alkan Bazaar. In Bishkek. Alright, let's bounce. I forgot to add that they put a bit of uh, hot pepper and one small uh, egg of that food in Hungarian Bidona in the local language that singing bird there's one egg of that usually they only give that when you ask for it but in this case they gave it <clears throat> all right let's go There are the boats, yes. Zinis from Zinis Itania. They took those boats with uh, Fedja. Right there, man. And Mariana Adventures was here. Eating the plov and complaining at all. It's, it's sweet, I don't like meat with sweet. I don't like salty. And there's the Minar Gosht. Nothing special. I don't know why it's the most popular samsa place. I mean, I'm baking in this jacket now. I could easily just go on a sweater, maybe even a t-shirt in the sun. It's very warm now. 
have to find the metro. I think it's somewhere down there. I don't know what's, what's spitting here. Like what is in their mouth that they constantly have to spit? This guy spat like three times just now. The other guy spat as well. They're constantly doing that. Like everybody, man. Yeah, I gotta go down there on Amir Timur Avenue. Man, it's a big drop. Shkent International University. And then some sub place where I'm gonna go tomorrow for lunch is there on the corner. I'll grab the samsa tomorrow here and I'm gonna go down there. This is there is a park there by the river. It's uh, the expo center. And there's some other parks. It's pretty nice there. That's the plan for around lunchtime or before that, whatever. I'm gonna have a short day tomorrow because I need to pack and all that stuff. So I'm gonna stay in this area, which is you know, not far from my place. 15 minutes walking, something like that. They made this bridge pretty nice with that design. It's not bad. I went to that cafe last year to meet this guy once. And behind me there's a building of the Omani Uzbeki Investment Fund. Uz Oman. Yeah, and here nobody's gonna stop. Funny, I, I I made the car stop. I just stepped on the on the road, and they were forced to stop. And there were these Russians behind me. They were so scared, like they didn't dare cross the road. But then when they saw me do it, like, timidly, <laughs> they moved forward as well. Yeah, man, that's what happens when you grow up in Bucharest, where they had no crosswalks. And this is not a big deal for you. Kulikov. Ah, oh, they have that in Kyrgyzstan as well. I think it is from Kyrgyzstan. Kulikov. This Jotto, they're pretty big. I see a lot of them, and I don't know who they are. Oh, is it really Italian? One, this one is also all over town. I'm gonna have to look into it if it's local or what is it? Ah, man. This jacket is killing me. There's an interesting building up ahead. It's called the Kazakhstan... Kazakhstan building. And it looks... It's a French-style building. There's a couple of these French-style buildings that I've seen. This is one of them. It's right here. Je 
Veloy Complex. So check that out. But it has shops and everything. Internation, whatever in school. It's strange, man. They have a French style building. And this is where I bought my suitcase that I'm with here. The last time I was here, I bought a suitcase just to carry home the gifts that I bought. And it was right here. I got a pretty good deal. I don't remember what it was. And I remember I was running around changing money. There was Ipateka Bank there. I didn't like their rate, so I went down there. Over there, there was another bank, and I don't know, I couldn't change it or something, and then the guy gave me a better price. Yeah, Gazienta Baklava, that's another thing I've seen a lot here. There's one across there, Merhaba. are from India, Pakistan, one of these places. Man, the metro is impossible. You can barely fit in at this stop. It's like, I've never seen this kind of crowd in a metro station. I had to get out. It's too much, man. I don't know. Maybe I'm not gonna go. It's this fucking place. walk down or somehow get to a, a different uh, station because the center of the city I think everyone's going now to the park so that's why it's so packed and if I pass that area then probably it will be a little bit better Disaster in there. I, I sort of know where I am, but not exactly. I know the general area, but okay. There's a uh, Tashkent city there. Different entrance. I didn't get very far. It took like three stops and, and I had to get out. Okay, now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do. I have to take the jacket off. I mean, it was already off. I don't cough in my face. Fool. Yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna make it down there. I'll walk a bit to one particular station, and I don't know, man. If it's really, really packed there going down that way, then maybe I'm gonna change my plans and just. Then again, what's the big deal? If others can do it, pack like sardines, I can do it too. I just, I don't know, man. I felt like my jacket was off and 
I wanted to put it back on. So I had to get off the station and then there were so many people waiting to get on that it was impossible to get back on. But here I am in the nice part of town. The Burj Khalifa, whatever all this stuff is. We got that building. It's sunny. Great day for a walk. It's warm. It's probably like 20 degrees. And once I have a plan, I, I want to execute the plan. Even though there probably won't be some side that place. And that neighborhood is, is the poorest neighborhood, so maybe. Or maybe it will be very interesting. Who knows? We got the Humo, Huma, Humo, Huma, whatever arena up ahead. It looks pretty futuristic. It's not bad. It's right there. That round thing. Big contrast, man. This and <laughs> some other parts. This is the so called new Uzbekistan. This is what they're building. The view from the other side. This is some governmental stuff here as well. Yeah. So I'm walking to the next metro. The one on the corner here it would have just taken me back to where I got off, so that wouldn't work. Bomi Finance Center. I think this is South Korean. South Korean flag there. No, without the sun, it's chilly. It's weird. You go in the sun, it's hot. Now that I'm in the shade, it's better with the jacket. Yeah, international English school. That's what I was talking about. We have these standalone buildings, just clearly built from scratch. To accommodate this school, I mean, I can't imagine what else could have been here. You can just see the facade was built for this. Or perhaps they just put this facade over it. Yeah, maybe. Maybe they put this facade over it. But the point is that they have a lot of these. They're really taking it seriously, and it's full of people right now. It's Sunday. So they're studying, man. And I noticed this last year as well. There's a lot of this IT schools and language schools. Good for them. Good for them. And if I'm not mistaken, there was a Lagman place right next to it exactly and my memory serves me really well Lagman Hana there it is I remember everything 
I came by cab here once and the guy had no change for 50 grand cab driver and we just kept going around and around going to shops and places to change money after 10 minutes of trying the guy was just like okay fine don't pay me <laughs> you can go for free I was like nah man it's okay and then I found the Samsa place that finally managed to change it Yeah, up ahead here, there's going to be a big square with a huge flag. I forget the name of the square, but... It's, uh, it's well known. There it is. Down there is Charsu. If you go there, you end up at uh, Kukoldosh and Charsu. This is Druzhba Narodov actual station. Halklar... Halklar Dostigli. Yeah, Halklar Dostigli. Barely made it here, man. That was rough. Never been in a more packed metro, and it was packed all the way till here. So it wasn't people going to the park or anything like that. It's just I don't know people riding around on the weekend. I hope going back is going to be better because that, fuck man, that was too much, man. Okay, now I have to see where exactly I am and find this place. way those guys are squatting this is so typical in Central Asia man. people they just sit like that and there's another guy squatting they just squat around like 
everywhere is comfortable. Oh, there's a nice and strange looking stadium that I've seen before right there. I don't know how much of that can be seen. There, that white one. What is it called? Let me see. That is the Milli Milli Stadium. Milli Stadium. Jiz Biz Kebab. Isiknan Zaka Samsa. Love these names. So yeah, this is the poorest part of the city. I can't really tell. It's not really that obvious. But apparently, like the poor workers that come from the regions, they all settled in this area. Maybe this like big boulevard is a little bit I don't know, better. But I've been in this area before and yeah, this, there were some parts where it looked pretty beaten down. But I absolutely don't want to take the Metro back. I hope the Yandex gives me a good price. To go at least until me not. So I'm not getting on that fucking thing again. Welcome to the hood. Here you can see that this is very... Uh, how should I put it? Working class. Very working class. Starting to look kind of familiar. Might be there. Last time I was here, there were <laughs> a pack of lambs that got loose right in front of the restaurant. And these people were running after them, and when they caught them, the lambs started pissing. They were dragging the lambs as they were pissing. Nice scene, especially next to a restaurant. Lot samsa. I think it might have been this. Yep, this is it. And the lamb were they were here. Karshi Samsa. This is it, man. It's a banquet hall. Guys, doing, man. Look 
okay, now I see. <laughs> now I agree that this is the worst neighborhood. Look at this, man. This is like... Favela. Metal alone. Look at this one. I suffered to come here. Okay, there's people there. I want to get us some sand, get the hell out of here. Yeah, came home now. Had a bad experience over there. Right after I stopped filming, that abandoned building or whatever, that structure. This guy starts yelling from a car. He's like, what were you filming, blah, blah, blah. And uh, started yelling, you know? Like, what are you filming? Dude, you can't film here, why, blah, blah, blah. Whatever, I'm not gonna repeat everything. The point was, this guy thought he could tell me that I cannot film over there. And I started yelling back at him too. So we're like yelling back and forth. And then I left. I went to get the samsa and then, I don't know, he, he was passing by in front of the restaurant. We, we yelled a bit more and it was like pretty tense. Like I, I was in my mind getting ready to fight. Like it was at that point. Oh, who the hell? This is this idiot? I mean, where do these people get this idea that you can tell somebody on a public street if they can film or not? Like, who the fuck are you? You know, like, wh where is this mentality coming from? I don't want to comment anymore, but that was a very negative experience. You know? Um, there are issues with the mentality here. A lot of angry and, I don't know, kind of like uh, close-minded people. With like angry looks on their faces and this kind of mentality. Like, I'm going to tell this guy not to film in the street because it doesn't look good what he's filming. He's like, oh, you're going to put this on TikTok. And so who the fuck are you? To get involved. Am I filming your apartment? It's a public street. Man, I, I don't want to wind myself up, so I'm just going to leave it there, but left a really bad taste in my mouth. I'm, I'm ready to go home. Straight up. Enough is enough. myself a bread from the same spot I'm not in the mood to do anything anymore man, after this it completely colored my mood I don't like it's just uh, it's wrong to go home but maybe I'll walk around a bit I remember walking down the street when I was sick last time I went to that 
um, pharmacy. I was walking down the street and there were these women walking in front of me and they covered their faces with their, what do you call it, uh, headscarves. Yeah, I remember this street. Here, if I go right, I come out on the street that leads to my house, so I'm right next to home. But this is kind of like old town architecture here, very old houses. That's Cobb, obviously. So it's like a mixture of apartment complexes and kind of old houses made out of clay. And again, the, I don't know, I think I filmed the last shot, I believe the man with the two kids on that street is also staring at me afterwards when I stopped filming. Dirty looks. Now all of a sudden everything looks ugly to me. And everyone looks ugly at me. Not good. Yeah, so that Katshu Samsa was actually good. And I think it's capers, not capers, um, kapor in Hungarian. A little bit of that in there. But it's much better that the dough is not layered. <clears throat> that was the best samsa I had here, for sure. So I'm gonna go to the restaurant, I have a meeting there, have a little bit of tea or whatever. And then I'll call it a day. Sitting outside. Might even be better. I am a little bit early, so just wait out here. Home now. And I want to conclude the day. Well, first of all, I sat down with my friend, the owner of this place, and I told him what happened. And, I don't know, he kind of laughed it off. And it sort of lightened up the situation. I kind of uh, got over what happened as well. Uh, it's stupid. And um, even he was saying the people in that area are known to be really like crude. It was something I knew, so I don't, I don't want that to color my experience any more than it has. I don't care anymore. There are stupid people everywhere. Um, that was bad, and it uh, it ruined my vibe, so to say. After that, I didn't feel like going to look at anything anymore. But now I don't care anymore. I got over it, and um, 
thanks to sitting down, you know, and having a conversation and just in general and also including this topic and, you know, it, it just, it, it lightened the whole experience and made me realize that it doesn't matter, you know, so I'm okay. I look forward to the last day. Uh, I know pretty much I have a plan of what I'm going to do. But for now, I'm calling it a day, and that's it. I'm out. The next video is my final day in Tashkent. I left some of the best for last as I discover the most impressive Soviet mural in the city. I check out one of the main symbols of Tashkent. I visit the most spectacular open kitchen restaurant maybe in the whole world. I finally go test that extremely popular Samsa place. I do a final tour of the old town and I come across the coolest classic Soviet car I have ever seen. <laughs>